fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 5th of February 2023. I hope you are enjoying your weekend. Uh, here the weekend is on its way out. Not too much time left. Uh, still a few hours but um, it's evening here already. Uh, I should get on with the LA Times expert level in just a sec. Um, but I was... Uh, uh, and and then this evening, I hope I'm going to get a, a, a slightly better sleep than I did last night. Um, and the reason is, is uh, my cat believes it's a human. And um, <laughs> uh, I have a couple of different pillows on my bed. One is very thin and flat, which I like. That's my favorite pillow. And the other is kind of springy and fluffy, which I don't really like because it's too high for me. And it will give me a bit of a neck ache. Um, this morning I woke up uh, sleeping on the uh, the fluffy, the, the bouncy pillow, spongy pillow, pillow I guess it is, uh, the one that I don't like with a bit of a neck ache. Somehow or another my cat was uh, had claimed the thin pillow, but I don't remember that's how I went to bed. Now I don't believe my cat has hypnotic uh, suggesti suggestive skills and somehow uh, hypnotized me into sleeping there, so it must have somehow forced me over I don't know probably poured me on the face or something like that to get me to move while I was asleep uh, but when I woke up I, a thought came into my a memory came into my head on the subject of pillows um, the Thai excise department is the department that collects taxes on um, alcohol and tobacco basically amongst other things but mostly alcohol and tobacco and many years ago, when it first was set up, it was set up as something called the Gomphine, which is the opium department. Now, I, um, I actually, about 15, 20 years ago, something like that, I, I, I worked. I, had a, uh, I was working in the excise department, not the opium department, the excise department. And they had um, a museum, a private museum. I don't think it was open to the public. It was a private museum that they showed me around once. Now, in Thailand, the, the level of English is honestly um, quite, unfortunately, quite bad sometimes. So you often find words that are mistranslated or misunderstood and things like this. And um, while they were showing me around this museum, they showed me something and they said it was a pillow. And it was a kind of ceramic pad, like a, a thick tile or something like that, I suppose it was. And I thought... Oh, you've made a mistake. I thought that that's not a pillow. I know what a pillow is. That's not a pillow. And I so I kind of tried to <laughs> remonstrate and say, look, I, I think you've made a mistake. This is not a pillow. A pillow is a kind of soft thing that you put your head on. And the person showing me around the museum said, this is a pillow. And I thought, are you off your head or what? <laughs> Until they explained to me the purpose of it. Uh, in the, I guess I'm not exactly sure about the dates, but I guess. Opium was legal at the beginning of the twentieth century. I'm gonna. I'm just. This is a wild guess. I actually don't know the, the years, but I'm guessing it's something like that. Maybe the beginning of the twentieth century. Opium was legal in Thailand. It was taxed because I just told you this was the opium tax department, and uh, apparently uh, there were opium dens where people just used to s just crash out and you know smoke the opium, but. <laughs> They were, they were worried about fires. Most of the houses were made of wood, wooden structures. And so what they had were these um, kind of beds and things and, and ceramic pillows whereby they would smoke the opium and they would get out of their heads and fall asleep. Uh, but because the pillows, the, you know, the, the, the pipes would fall out of their mouths, I suppose, and not cause a fire... <laughs> because they just landed on the ceramic pad, uh, which was a pillow, rather than an actual kind of soft pillow that would be combustible or anything like that. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing, uh, kind of a, getting a history lesson about opium smoking. It was very weird. And the whole museum was pretty interesting, actually. Um, but I'm glad uh, it was finally made illegal. And... Um, uh, they just stuck with the alcohol and tobacco. Right, let's get on with the game. I can see one's blocking up here, one's blocking down here, and one's across here. So I'm going to start with a one there. I can also see one's blocking across here and across here. So I'm going to put ones into those squares there. Um, OK, 
going to do any more. Not sure. Aha! Ones here put ones into these two squares, and how about this? Twos here put twos into the same squares, so we immediately have a pair of one and two up here. What does it mean? We have one and two here, so now we've got nines blocking across here, so that has to be a nine. Do we know anything else? We see the four and the five blocking up here. Four, five. What did I say? One and two. One, two. Uh, four and five. So six, seven, eight. I don't know about just yet. So. Okay, maybe we'll come back to that later. But anyway, that's quite interesting. Let's have another look at the twos. There might be something else. Um, yes, there is. Two across here, two across here, two across here. <laughs> so in this column, that's our two. So great. So now we know that this is one and two. This can't be two, can it? That has to be two. That has to be one. This is a good start. Three's blocking up here, that one there, and across there, so it gives me a three in that square. Three across here, across here, and up here. There's a three. It's going to give us... Okay, so three blocking down here, three here, three blocking here. So in this row, that's a three. Hello, hello, four, seven, four, seven across here. So that's a pair of four and seven. Uh, what does it mean? The fours, I don't know. The sevens, then we will have sevens in these squares there. Does it mean anything? Seven. Ah, yeah, because look, seven blocks across here and up here. So seven is in one of those squares. This can't be seven. That must be seven over on this side, which I hadn't noticed, 7 down, 7 up, 7 there. Uh, four, seven, so nine will be down here. So that will be possible nines. This are possible nines. Um, let me have a look. So this is, f so four and seven block across here. So we've got four and seven here. So this is three, oh, I'm getting bitten by mosquitoes, eight and nine. Uh, I see a three and a nine, okay, so three, nine, eight. Ah, okay, so this is eight, so eight blocks across here, eight blocks across here, and eight blocks down there, so we will get ourselves an eight into that square.
nine blocks all the way down here so nine is in one of those two squares blocking up here that's going to put a nine here I'm not sure about this but I see nine across here nine down here is that going to give me anything down here nine down yes nine down here so that's going to place a nine in that square uh, three eight there now is that going to nope nothing okay Uh, missing digits up here are five and six, I think. Um, anyway, we have one across here, and obviously the one blocking up here, and one across here, so we get ourselves a one there. One blocking down here now, and across here, so that would be a one. That's the final digit one, that's good. Uh, then we've got seven blocking up here, and seven across here, so that would be a seven. Seven in those squares. Still got seven anywhere there. Okay, we've got 8 blocking this square here, so you'll agree that 8 has to be in one of these squares here, right? And 8 blocks here, so that means 8 must be in that square there. Okay, we have two blocking this square, two blocking here, and two blocking here. So in this column, that's got to be a two. Uh, then two across here and across here. There's our two. Great. Wow, these mosquitoes are getting fierce. Got to hurry up and finish this game off. Get out of this room. Uh, we have nine blocking across here and nine blocking down here. So that will be a nine. A nine, excuse me. Nine. You know what I'm trying to do. He's just hitting the wrong keys as usual. Nine there. And nine across here, across here, and down there. I think this is the final nine. Yes, it was. Uh, I don't know what's more of a challenge, the Sudoku or the mosquitoes, actually. Uh, what's down there? Five, six. That's, that's okay. Hmm. Okay, we've got eight blocking up. Eight's blocking up here and up here. So that is our eight. Four blocking up here. Here's a four. Five blocks this square. So that has to be our five. This will be our six. This will be a six along here now. Six across here and six up here. There's a six. Oh, <laughs> this is not good. Distractions, distractions, distractions. Mosquitoes. Six is up here. Those of you living in cold countries, this would be uh, <laughs> something you don't have to worry about, right? Uh, six blocks across here. So six is in one of those squares blocking down here. That has to be a six. So this will be a six down here, and this will be a five. But I don't envy you, by the way, if you're living in a cold country. I'd rather put up with the mosquitoes than uh, the frozen, temp freezing temperatures. Um, five across here and five up there. Oi. Damn things. Um.
Okay, we have eight blocking across here, so that's got to be an eight for this column. This will be a four, I believe, because we need four there. Four blocks across here, that will be a four. Four down here, four across here. Remember, this was four and seven, actually. Anyway, four goes there, seven goes there. Seven blocks up here, seven across here. Here's the seven. Is that not the last one? Where do we need it? Oh, there's one up there. <laughs> okay, that was the last one. Oh. Uh, right, what is left to get? Twos. What do we know about twos? Uh, not enough to finish. We need threes. What do we know about threes? We can get a three in that square there. That's what we know. And then we can say three blocking down here so we can get the final digit three there. This missing number is an eight. So eight blocks up here and we get an eight there. Eight blocks across these two rows. We get an eight there. Um, one empty square here. What goes there? Five, I believe. Five then blocks across these two rows, and that will give me a five in that square. The last number to place in this row. Are you a two? Are you a two? I think you are. Um, and we also have two blocking across there, so that will be a two. <laughs> this will be a six. I've got to hurry up and get out of this room so I can spray at least. And a four goes a very easy um, LA Times puzzle. LA Times Expert Level Puzzle, a very simple puzzle indeed, that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, see you another time. Bye-bye.